I'm going to show you how you can automatically create Dropbox folders for Airtable records. I'll be using this tool by miniextensions.com and I will add a URL to this in the description. So I've got, a, uh, I've got an Airtable table here and I've got a bunch of names on the left side. And what I want to do is I want to automatically create Dropbox folders for each of those records. Name the folder after the name here and then generate uh, a share URL to that folder and then post it here. And I want to completely automate this. So when you buy the tool, this is what you would see. You'd start by authenticating Dropbox. There's normally a um, button here, but I've already authenticated. But um, So the authentication gives us access to one directory in your Dropbox, and that's the mini extensions directory. So we don't get access to any of the stuff outside of that directory. And then fill up the API key for your table, base ID, and then the table ID. Follow the blue URLs to find those. After that, we'll need the primary A table field name. And this, in my case, this is this thing right here. Make sure it's case sensitive. And um, after that, I've got a little notice here. So uh, we create these folders based on names. And if you have multiple rows with the same name, by default, they will share the same folder. Uh, if you'd uh, like us to stop that functionality from happening, check this ensure unique directory for each record what that entails is that each directory on dropbox will get um, the records id in it as well but it will ensure that each record has a single um, dropbox folder next we'll need the name of the field where the dropbox url will be saved this is this thing right here and then the last thing here is by default if you don't fill in a parent directory name we will name the uh, so these directories here will be under a parent directory and that directory will be named after your base ID if you don't fill this up. So if you'd love uh, a name for this, just fill that in here and then I'll go ahead and run this. Should take a second here. There you go. So let's see, let's open these up to see what they have. Cool, so for example, this is August receipts. And this is what I opened. As you can see, it gives me the exact URL. And yeah, it pretty much just allows you to associate a Dropbox directory with each of your records. Last two things here is this can be scheduled to run regularly so that this happens automatically every hour or so. And then you can also use a webhook. A webhook is useful if you wanna, for example, run this after a um, after a zap, or if you want to run this after a form is submitted, if you're a pro Airtable account, you can use this as your redirect URL, and then um, this job will immediately run after the form is submitted.